Hi, my name is Marisa. Welcome to my channel. Tom Ford has just released five new quads and I found one of them by chance when I was checking out the sales on Selfridges website. So this is Mink Mirage and on this video I'm going to talk with you about it about the similarities and differences between this one and the Coco Mirage. I'm going to swatch it, do the demo on this look and finally I'm going to tell you my thoughts about it. So if you are interested in this content just keep on watching. The five new quads are starting to appear on the retailers namely Nordstrom in the United States and Selfridges in the UK Apparently, in Selfridges there were two new quads, uh, Mink Mirage and Noir Fumé, but when I went to the website I only saw one which was Mink Mirage. Because I only had two quads from Tom Ford, the ones from the Soleil Neige collection, which were both all shimmer metallic eyeshadows, I wanted to experience the Tom Ford matte eyeshadow formula and because supposedly the Mink Mirage quad is the successor to the famous Coco Mirage I wanted to grab that one to see what the fuss is all about. So I'm going to show you uh, now a photo of both quads side by side for you to see the differences and similarities. As you can see by the photo, these three shades are the same in both quads and the difference is on the fourth shade that on the Coco Mirage it was a reddish brown while here they placed a black. These four eyeshadows are completely matte and in the Coco Mirage the reddish brown eyeshadow had some micro particles of, grit, of glitter infused through it. To me this quad seems more neutral cool leaning than the Coco Mirage because that quad could um, be more cool neutral if you only use the three eyeshadows, the, the brownish white ones, or you could go slightly more warm if you use the, the reddish brown one. Here, whatever, wherever you go, you are always going to obtain a very neutral cool tone look. I cannot make a comparison of the eyeshadow formulas in both quads because I don't have the Coco Mirage. But I can tell you that these eyeshadows are very buttery soft, they blend extremely easy on the eyes and they are very pigmented. So it's definitely a very friendly beginner quad and one that we can easily um, use on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm going to show you now the swatches of this quad and how I achieved this look. I'm going to start by applying a little bit of concealer on my eyelids just to cover up the redness and any veins. And now I'm going to apply the light shade all over my eyelid up to my eyebrow and with the same brush I'm going to the second lightest I'm going to place it lightly on the outside corner and on my crease now I'm going to use a smaller brush still a little bit fluffy and I'm going to this brow to intensify the outside corner. And push it a little bit into the crease as well. I'm going to use a pencil brush and the black to line my eyelashes. 
So this is the final look. I placed a little bit of mascara, blush. I used the Soleil and Nash Glow Stick from Tom Ford. I like this shade very much. And uh, a little bit of lip balm. This is also uh, the Soleil and Nash, if I'm not mistaken. No, sorry. This is the shade number two, Après Soleil. So, this is very day appropriate look, very easy to do, very flattering in a discreet way. So what do you think? Do you like it? Interesting, question for you. Which look do you like the best? This one or the one uh, that I achieved with the Natasha Denona Mini Glam Palette? And I placed the link to that video over here <laughs> so yeah leave me in the comments which of the two looks do you think looks best on me personally I'm very happy that I got this quad I'm now able to evaluate all future releases in terms of matte and shimmer metallic um, formulas and eyeshadows. It's something that I will probably have on, on my right hand side whenever I want a basic matte eyeshadow to place on the crease or all over my eyelid. If you fancy the idea of having um, a makeup version of the little black dress and you want that version to be by Tom Ford, this is perfect for you. If you have the possibility to get either this one or still the old Coco Mirage, I would suggest to get the Coco Mirage just because I think that all that um, warm idea of uh, chocolate in your eyes it's very appealing if you already know Coco Mirage you will be happy to know that uh, the quality will remain with Mink Mirage and uh, that you will probably achieve a very similar look I have to say that I really don't understand why sometimes uh, companies have the need to replace a product that works well, is appreciated and the, despite the years that it has in the market it still sells and is looked for only because, only because the one that is coming is new I don't think that is a very solid argument only by itself but that is just me Regarding the other four quads, just by looking at the photos, they don't seem to be very different from other ones that already exist. So I'll be going in, in a short period of time to Selfridges to look at them in person, swatch them and evaluate if they have the quality, the performance that I would expect of a brand like Tom Ford. And that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. It's obviously very important to me. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!